Matt I'm from Sumo Psycho. And uh, I'm going to show you my little bit of gear that I use, which is not much. Um, we use a wireless mic for a sky to sing out of. It's a sure. It's pretty cool. I don't mind it. <laughs> I use a mini mixer for some sequencer tracks. Real simple shit. I do a mono signal going in from behind the drums. I usually uh, use a Mesa, a full Mesa rig, but I'm not today. I'm using Church's guitar cab from Mushroom Head. I'm using my Mesa head on top of his rig, and we're just sharing. So that's kind of helping me out. I've been with Mesa for 10 years. Been working with Mesa for 10 years. It's a triple rectifier solo head. I really something about it. I like. It has like a lot of cool bite, a lot of channels on it, so that really works. You know, that's about it. I'm not one of those guys that has a million pedals or overthinks it. The message just sounds really awesome when I turn it up. It fucking sounds great. A Boss Boss chromatic tuner, make sure I stay in tune. And a digital delay pedal, DD3. Gives me a little bit of ambience when I need it. And again, that's pretty much it. Besides my channel switch, that's about it. Channel two is my heavy channel. Channel three is my like lighter channel. Channel one's a complete clean channel. And that's... I mean, really bare minimum. I don't like having to carry a lot of stuff or move a lot. I do have a wireless, like, Line 6 I might I use for my guitar, but that's about it as well. I have a... That's an SG Echophone. And it's, like, a $250, $300 guitar. And I was sponsored with Gibson for a while, and I had, like, some Les Pauls. Like, I have a Gibson Les Paul Supreme that's here over there. And that's, like, a $5,000 guitar, and I like that way better. Epiphone SG Les Paul Custom, this thing's, like I said, a cheap guitar, really light, and I like it more than my Les Pauls. I don't do anything special, I keep it on my treble pickup the whole time. I'm not, nothing special here, I have all my other pickups rolled off, basically, except for my treble, and that's about it. I play in drop C, so everything's in standard, but my E string's in C, it's a little strange, the power chord looks like this, and it's actually an octave chord everywhere. And uh, I use Ernie Ball strings right now. I think I'm switching though, I'm not sure. And these are uh, 11 to 48. And it's just a really easy guitar to throw around and not feel bad that you're beating it up. <laughs> um, you know what, as long as it feels floppy enough on me, I use like lighter picks. A lot of guitar players use harder picks. I kind of like a faster kind of pick. Yeah, man, I, I mean, I, like I said, besides from my Line 6 wireless that I use on it, I'm a pretty simple guy. I like to make it as simple as I can and try to get it done, so. Hi, my name's Kenny Quirk. I'm from uh, Sumo Psycho. Um, here I'm playing a uh, Frullinetto bass. It's a little crusty looking, but it does the job. Um, these are made out in, in, uh, in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada by a guy named George Frullinetto, who uh, makes a lot of customized basses and stuff like that. Um, I think uh, Aerosmith and some of those guys played them as well. Really high end, uh, it's a lot of bass, but it's um, really good for what we do. Uh, big, wonderful neck, very, very active pickups. These, this is bass is, as I said, this bass is probably around 25 years old. Um, I got, I inherited it from somebody and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, aside from the details, one uh, neck through body, you know, <laughs> it's just so dirty looking right now, I feel kind of bad. But uh, yeah, it sounds amazing. Um, well, right now, I, am, uh, I love the Ernie Ball uh, power slinkies, you know, I like the thicker gauge strings. Um, we're generally a drop C, so, um, you know, I like to have the strings a thicker gauge to kind of hold uh, the slack, you know, make them a little bit more taut so I can do a bit more finger picking and uh, picking and, uh, you know, basically play the bass functionally but have it tuned down a lot lower, you know. Uh, Sumo Psycho, this band is very uh, hard rock dance hall. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll slip up the front and bump up the front. Uh, I'll bump up the front. Actually, I don't have any power right now. Either. I turn it on and play something for you. Um, you got power now. Oh, I do? Yeah. Um, but I, and I would mute, uh, I basically, you know, palm mute for the, for the back, for the dance hall kind of stuff. And then when I'm, when I'm rocking the pick stuff, I'd also use the back kind of, the back pickups. Uh, but then when I'm just powering through with my fingers, I'm just, you know, I'm using the front and a bit of the back too, you know, just, for, just to kind of get more resonance. So, yeah, that's just kind of... Wow, I do it. Uh, Epic Pro I've had since I was a kid. Uh, right now, my Mark base is uh, my Mark base is getting kind of customized into a, a big uh, a road case right now. So we were at, we had one day to basically get what we had to, to go. So I brought my old Ampeg uh, Pro Five. Um, this thing's great. This is a great head. It's just you know it's pretty outdated, and pretty old. But um, it sounds great to the Mark base. The Mark base 410. I am famous. 
Like I used to use Eden, I used to use Eden a lot. And um, a great cabinet, but I blew speakers constantly with this thing, right? Playing in hard rock bands, hard hitting drummers and stuff like that, and you're at the mercy of some stages. Some, some of them give you the, the volume you need, some of them don't. So I've gone through a lot of speakers for the Eden. As you can tell, this is this taking a beating. I've had this for like six years, and I'm not blowing one speaker. It's light, it weighs like practically nothing. Like, if you're a new bass player, get one of the, get Mark Bass stuff. This stuff is just light and efficient. It's just really good. Uh, Mark Bass Pro Mark uh, Three. It's um, it's got a pre uh, two preamp in it. It's, it's I play a uh, stand up bass too, so it's one of, one of those versatile amps that I can use. I can use for. Quiet, small acoustic sessions. It's got a nice enough preamp. I can round the tone off by the way I like it, and it's simple. It's not like tons of EQs. It's like you know, mids, treble, bottom. You know, a little bass boost and compressor and stuff like that. But just basically simple, right? You don't you don't have to be an engineer to run it. It just plug and go, right? And it weighs like five pounds, you know. So everything is just like boom, boom, boom. So the fact you put in it doesn't blow up, weighs practically nothing, and and it sounds great, like winning combination, right? So, yeah, that's what I think.